welcome back to Tribe Star Child. I have a message for one today. A very special one. If this resonates for you, let me know. That's good. If it does not, that's just as good. And stay for the drinks, whatever. I'm talking to the one who thinks they're hidden. And I mean you think nobody can see you. I'm talking to the one that it actually is hurting that it feels like nobody is seeing you. You are one that gives and does and you, you are always extending yourself. And that's not necessarily true, but when you have the energy to give, you are giving it your all. You are doing the absolute best that you can. The one I'm talking to has a cloud over them and it feels heavy and it feels dark and it could even be like a sunny day and you're like nah it ain't but you're walking and you're moving forward and there's a huge part of you that knows this that you are actually moving forward but it doesn't feel like that it actually feels way worse and it's crazy <sighs> i'm like almost seeing this repetitive cycle but this cycle that I'm seeing, you, you, you got back on the horse and you fell off and you got up again and then had to figure out how to get on the horse and off and up and off and up and off. I, I think the people around you are looking at you like, wow, oh, you're doing great. Like everything's awesome for you. Like, wow, you like, how do I get your life? And you're like, this is not, you're just like, you're just hidden. You're hidden even though people see you. And it hurts. It, it actually hurts. Because these people don't know you. They don't know much about you. And the truth is, you are a gem. You're a mystery to just unfold. You're, you're, you're absolutely wonderful. And just a joyful enigma to figure out and traipse through and just enjoy your presence. Like the true, the real, the, the behind closed doors you is just, just a good hearted person. I think you've been through way more than you wanted, way more than you would wish other people should go through. Even, I, I'm willing to bet you even have people that you should call enemies and you're not even casting like, well, I'm, they should be able to go through all the garbage I went through. I think I'm seeing a, just a good person. And I see you in tears too, randomly. Dry your eyes, lift your head, shake it off. Like we gotta figure out how to get you to rise again. The time is near and like, this time is a good time. This time is like leading you to the right path. This time is absolutely what, where you want to be headed. And if you're still here, this one was definitely for you. Now that's great. Maybe I saw you, but how can you heal? What can you do? I want you to do two things. And sometimes when I say two, I actually mean three. So, okay, step one, your weapon is your pen. Go get it and grab a piece of paper and notebook something. Once you have that, you're going to write out how you're feeling or what is going on in your head. What is the prevailing thought? Then you're going to take a step back. You're going to read that prevailing thought and you're going to challenge it with a question. Challenge your own thought with one question. One thought, one question. Then when you answer this question, there's your answer, prevailing thought, critical question, here's your answer. Oh, then pesky old you comes around to ask another critical question. Go deeper and answer that, and answer that, and answer that. Try that, that's step one. Step two can be a little tough. I need you to find somewhere where you can sit comfortably or rest, lay down, whatever it is. And then you're gonna focus on breathing. You're gonna close your eyes and relax and keep trying to relax deeper and deeper, okay? That's even, I do not care if it takes an hour. 
but at least give it 10 to 15 minutes. And as you do this, get out of where you're at and just observe the present moment. Listen, you're not hidden. You're an absolute gem. And you know who you are. That's the wonderful thing. You know exactly who you are. And I want you to keep walking into the goodness of who and what you are. And I know I said two, but I really meant three. Please just know this. You are not worth less. You are worth more than every precious gem and stone that could ever have been found by man alone. Never forget that it is okay to feel low. But no, do not stay there. Have a great night, mates. We'll see you in the next one.